All right, we got some airplanes coming in against our Task Force 10, and um, luckily I had those quads up, and so hopefully we can do a little bit of damage here. The uh, my stubby here, I'm a little worried about him. What are we even up against here? Wildcats? What else? Wildcats? They don't even have bombers. What are they, what are they doing? What are they doing? I'm just here to clean out my quads or what? Is that all you're here just to clean out my quads? Clean my clock? This, this is going to take a while. <laughs> what we got here? Bombers? Nope, more wildcats coming in on the deck. Alright. Shot somebody down, two somebody's. Did they strafe my hospital ship? You dirty dogs. They sure did. War crimes, I tell you. War crimes. Yeah, they're strafing everybody. Uh oh. Oh, that was close. Interesting to actually see them strafing people. I don't know if I've ever seen the AI do that. They are strafing the heck out of them, though. Come on, Claude's. Do your work. Claude's like, I'm busy fighting these fighters over here, not the fighters endangering the ships. Okay. Ouch. Lost three of our Claude's. Well, isn't this interesting? Got lots of fires going on over here. Hospital ship's not looking too good. Looks like they are mostly disengaging from attacking us. This guy's trying to maneuver against this clod here. The clod is ignoring him completely. Why don't you attack him instead? Attack him instead. Get him. Uh, bad. Get him. Now oh, he's got his wingman coming around. Get him, Claude. Claude's aren't the best, but better than nothing. Almost better than nothing. Mostly better than nothing. We lost another Claude. What are you doing? You're you're wasting all your bullets. You're not getting hits on him. Bro, stop firing. There you go. Shoot a little bit, then stop shooting. Uh oh. Yeah, he's, he's a wingman's getting on him here. Man, he is just like emptying his entire <laughs> armament into that wildcat. You finally got him. Holy cow. More wildcats. Jimmy Christmas. There's more than an air uh, escort carrier out there. There must be a full blown carrier out there. That's not good. Got lots of fires. Kitsu Maru and the Asama Maru are both not in good shape. There you go, work on that, please. We work on the fire ship. Unfortunately, this is that this is going to destroy some of the uh, troops and cargo I had on board here, so that's less than ideal. They're uh, paying us back for our war crimes. Okay. Looks like the danger is over. We're going to go ahead and leave. They had to scuttle the Asama Maru, unfortunately. Wow. So I lost that uh, hospital ship. Lost that hospital ship. Okay. More wildcats. 
aircraft unknown downed. <laughs> they crashed into the do a little Star Wars action or something. All right. All right. We unloaded at Guadalcanal. Now, what did we? What did we unload? A few troops. Not nearly as many as we had because we got some damage on us here. So let's get out of here. Let's get on out of here. Don't have any additional clods. Don't have anybody here that can see this carrier at the moment. There he is. Okay. I'm going to ignore it. I-17 is going for it. And so is I-11. I might just bring this guy, Otago, on in. Because uh, we may need to block this group here. Let's see. I don't remember what was it. Was there battleships in this? It seems like there was. There was an old battleship, but battleship nonetheless. We're going to lose some ships in this in this battle, folks. We're about to lose some ships. We are about to lose some ships. Let's go ahead and get that ready. Mavises are on their way. Don't really have much else to bring. Still recovering. Got some Donruz. Bring some armor piercing Donruz. See if we can get something going. If we have one Mavis here I could send up. Does this guy have a torpedo? Nah, he's just scouting. Okay. Alright. Well, this is about to get interesting. It's about to get interesting. I'm going to bring the Otago back just a little bit. I don't want her to get engaged too soon. Okay. I want these subs to be able to get into the, the fray as well. Get that task force out of there. This was uh, This is real good of the Americans to finally make a move. Finally making a move. They, they couldn't let us take uh, Guadalcanal is what it was. But nope. Can't allow it. Can't allow it. Don Roos, are you going to get down here or what? Some nails coming. I forgot about them. Where's my Don Roos at? There they are. Okay. Two hours still. Two hours. Mavis is keeping an eye on them. Okay. Unfortunately, subs can't keep up. Subs can't keep up. Okay. Actually, I want you to go up this way. I want you out of the line of this ship here. What are you doing? Where are you going? He going somewhere? Is he going up here to Russell or something? What he's doing? I'm not sure what he's doing. I'm not sure he's sure what he's doing. Okay. Tago's going to block block that slot though. Mavises are here. Nails are here. Don Rouge are almost here. We'll, uh, we'll try to arrange them so that they come in on opposite sides. I think they have torpedoes as well. Yeah, okay. This Mavis is just a scout. She's not going to play a part in the actual battle. These guys. Here. Nails over here. It'd be nice if I could get a sub in the action as well, but I don't think it's going to happen. It would just be the Don Rouge and these Mavis's nails. 
Yeah. For now. Okay. I want his escorts to get the heck out of here. So we'll stand a chance. All right. Let's um. Let's go ahead and put a marker in. So that we remember where he was at. Okay. And the nails. I want to go back just a little bit. There we go. Don Roos, they have bombs. Okay, I think we're good. You go on up this way. You go on up this way as well. Okay, let's do it. Let's see if this helps get us kind of scattered out here. I don't know what they're doing. I got some roofs on deck. Oh, I do have my submarine on deck. Nice. Let's go up. Is this the one with damage? <laughs> no. Okay. Do you have torpedoes? It's got all 17 torpedoes. Okay. All right. We got contacts. You just keep making way towards the enemy here. Well, we had, you are really far for them. Let's. I'm thinking we might go ahead and pop up. How far are you? Give me six thousand yards. The battleship might be able to reach that. Let's see. This is a SBB. I think we said it was the Pennsylvania. Yeah. And her guns can shoot 37,000 yards, so yeah, didn't don't want to pop up, buddy. Don't want to pop up. We do have a little stubby in here. I wouldn't mind taking him out. So let's take the nails. Go ahead and hit the deck. Mavis's. Hit the deck. Don Roos. They've got armor piercing bombs. I could go after the battleship. I think I'll go after Stubby. I think we'll go after Stubby. And we'll use these guys to strafe these cargo ships if any of them survive anyway. Actually, you know what? Let's, before you attack, let's let's hold up. Let's, let's wait. No, it's not going to be a wait. Not gonna be able to wait. Too close. Go and fly over. Do your thing. You're just a scout, so don't worry about it. Okay, I want you to come on in. Attack number two. And Nels. I want you to head this way as well. Alright. The nails might go. I hate for them to have to fly over these guys. There goes a Donner. Two Donners down. Yikes. Okay. Lots of donors. Are you even gonna drop any bombs? Wow. And all missed. All for not, man. Yep, all shot down. Wow. That was rough. Okay, the nails are gonna get there first, unfortunately. Got a lot of wildcats incoming as well. They just shot down my scout, Mavis. <laughs> oh gosh. I definitely want to get this stubby out. So you go for number one, please. 
Let's see. Someone said drop about 1,700 yards away, and then is that what it was? Someone was giving me some good advice for manually dropping torpedoes, and so and check it out. All right. So he says the drop at uh, 1,200 yards. I might try that. Let's see if we can get a good strike on this bow class here. 1200 yards and just get the heck out of here. It's getting rough already. Yikes. Getting hot. Getting hot. Getting hot. Drop. Get out. You didn't drop, did you? Drop. Get out. Did not survive. Did not survive. Thanks. That's rough. Are we going to get a hit? This one might hit. This one will not hit. Alright, well, who are you going after? Attacking number two? Attacking the battleship? Uh, I guess that's alright. I think this is going to be a hit here, so I'm fine with that. Oh boy. Those Mavis is they're never gonna make it. They're not gonna make that. Not gonna make it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good hit. Are you kidding me? A dud? A dud torpedo. They did get their fish in the water. They did get the fish in. Let's see if we have duds this time. I can't believe I had a Japanese dud torpedo. I mean, I know what happens, but still. It's not very often. It just had to happen whenever I hit the freaking escort carrier. But we got two hits. Let's see if this have any incidental hits. Might hit something, incidentally. I gotta hit the bow, unfortunately. Might hit an oiler back here, maybe? Nah, he's gonna miss him too. Well, that's a bummer. We still have our submarine on the deck. And I think I will let him continue to pursue because they're gonna be running amok. So maybe that's gonna take a while for him to get there. to see what happens. I'm going to send these roofs off off camera. Come on, bro. Warm up. You guys go off. Okay. They're all getting out of here. Ah. Glenn. That's my subs, Glenn. I'm scared to keep him around because I'm afraid the Wildcats get him. She's got her fires out on the Pennsylvania. So let's just see what happens. She might just get back in. Oh! Did you get hit by a torpedo and I didn't see it? Did I miss that? Yeah, I, oh, how, how did you get hurt? I don't know. I mean, I'm fine with it. I didn't see any additional torpedo messages. Now, there's the, there's the other errant torpedoes right there. So, not sure. How you got damaged? <laughs> Did a Donru land on you or something? I don't know. Submarine's on his way up. 
Let's see what happens. What is this oiler doing? Tapsco out here all by himself. He's just running the muck. Oh. They had a fuel explosion or something on this guy. I'm trying to catch up with him. He's still running nine knots, which is a little bit faster than what we're running at, so I may not be able to catch him with the I-17. May not be able to catch him. Maybe up to Otago. We're gonna watch the fires on this guy and see how that plays out. And then uh Alright, I decided to take a chance and surface. The Patapsco seems to have some sort of mechanical issue or something. She's just uh, making circles back here where the rest of the fleet leaves. And uh, so far I surfaced, they have not seen nor acknowledged that I'm here. So I'm going to continue to see if I can catch up with this Patapsco on the surface. Maybe use a little gunnery to shut her down. And... Um, See what happens. Auto gunnery. Main guns. HE. Just barely in gimbal range here. There you go. It's firing. Let's see if we can get a hit. Oh my god, that was close. That was close. That was close. She might start radioing for help. I don't know what's going to happen. Or she might just start running. Okay. Right to the starboard side. So let's move port just a little bit with the next shot. Okay. Still a little bit starboard. How many shells we got? Hundred? Okay. Not very many. Might have started shooting too soon. She might just start running now. It's like she is. She's not gonna continue to circle. Okay. Maybe she's gonna continue to circle. Let's see. Overshot her that time. I think I had the map zoomed out too much. It's hard to gauge the distance. Go ahead and go about right here. Next shot. There we go. That's it. Okay. Go about right here. Barely a miss. Keep firing. So close. She's got no guns, so not super worried about it. I'm gonna go ahead and send Glenn up here just to make sure those guys don't come t turning around. Auto fire just a little bit. These guys are all still steaming straight ahead, seemingly. Okay, so they're not answering the Tapsco's calls for help. That's terrible. That's like worse than I could have done. Back to bears. Call it back to manual, or he's gonna waste all my ammo.
Alright, up here. It's harder, it's harder when they're going to circles. That was a good idea. That was a good idea. That was a massive explosion there. Another good hit. So close. Back up just a little bit. Got a good hit. And she's down. She's down. Okay. Hold your fire. Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice little shot there. At least we got something out of it. They won't be bringing any fuel to any islands, that's for sure. No fuel for your uh, airfields. No, sir. No, sir. Re Bob. Don't think any of them are turning around, so we're going to have to go ahead and retreat. I won't be able to catch them. Okay. So we did uh, moderate damage to Pennsylvania. Lost all my planes. Well, almost all my planes. And we did sink the Patapsco. So. I don't know if it's a good trade off or not. Okay, so she's right here. Lost my Mavis as well. Let's go and bring up another Mavis. Uh, no, no armament. So I want you to keep an eye on this task force. Atago, I want you to shadow her. I don't think we could win a punch fight in that. Should we go ahead and just merge these two? Yeah, for now we will. All right, that way we can get them both going in an engagement. Mavis can come keep an eye on them. Task Force 10 is staying outside of there. Uh, Otago's got some Wildcats action. Okay. Got Claude's and Roofs. Which is not the best. I don't think we only got a few guys with radar, so. More Wildcats. Okay. Yikes. Lots and lots of wildcats. Of course, I'm in battle line. Not ideal. Okay. Guess they're coming for him. Apparently. Okay. Our roof is down already. Wow. Alright. Two of them bad boys down. Fire started. Yep. Wow. Better slow it down. Yeah. Ouch. Man, they're laying into this poor destroyer here. I'm glad to shoot him down, though. Glad to shoot him down. I didn't get hurt nearly with that. Okay. Tago, you want to not run around, please? Let's get these fires out. Anybody working on non fires, you can work on fires, please.
Okay. I guess the fight is just about over. Not run around, run around either, and not run into your buddies. The ideal. I don't think running around hurts them, but you know, now it is. But you guys run into each other now. More wildcats. the heck, bro? Where'd you come from? I know where you're going, though. Going to hell. Going to hell in a handbasket. Alright, so we just about got all the fires out. I think we will go ahead and retreat. Okay. Heavy damage on that one destroyer. So, it's worth it for them. Let's go ahead and move on up, I guess. We'll, um... Uh, See if we can get into some trouble. Oh, here they are. Found them. Found them. Let's see if I can get an engagement. Yes. Oh, a taco's got an engagement. Again. Not what I expected. But that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, be sure and hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.